Hello, dear students. This is this is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today we are going to start second unit. The second unit is the topic is Fourier transform. The Fourier transform. This concept is from Fourier integral theorem. Let's see what is Fourier integral theorem. If a function f of x is such that if there are two conditions, f of x satisfies Dirichlet's condition, and second one, f of x is absolutely integrable. Absolutely integrable means integration or minus infinity to infinity mod of f of x dx converges. Then you can represent f of x as integral. That integral integral equation one represents the integral. Of the function f of x. Now, what is Fourier transform? The concept of Fourier transform. The function f of lambda, where f is capital F, f of lambda is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity f of u e raised to minus i lambda u d u is called as Fourier transform of the function f of x. So you know what is the function f of x? The function f of x which is absolutely integrable and it satisfies the Dirichlet's conditions. That function is f of x, and f of x is equal to one upon two pi into integration minus infinity to infinity f of lambda into e raised to minus i lambda x p lambda is called as inverse Fourier transform. So this is the formula for inverse Fourier transform. And the first one is a capital F of lambda. This is equal to integration or minus infinity to infinity. F of u into e raised to i lambda u d u. This is formula of Fourier transform of the function. Okay. Now, Fourier sine transform. And then the next term is Fourier sine transform. If a function is defined in the interval minus infinity to infinity, and it is an odd function, the so of x is defined in the interval minus infinity to infinity, and it is an odd function of x, then from the expression of Fourier sine integral, the formula to find the Fourier sine transform is here is f of s lambda f suffix s. So fix S is for sine transform. This lambda is equal to integration or zero to infinity f of u sine lambda u du. Then the inverse Fourier sine transform is given by the formula f of x is equal to two upon pi integration or zero to infinity f s lambda into sine lambda x d lambda. Means to find the inverse Fourier transform, inverse Fourier sine transform, we required the Fourier transform, Fourier sine transform. Then and then we can find its inverse Fourier transform. So here, f s lambda gives the Fourier sine transform of f of x, and f of x gives the inverse Fourier sine transform of f s lambda. The subject S is for sine transform. Okay, so this is, these are the two results of Fourier sine transform and inverse Fourier sine transform. Now, next term is next concept is Fourier cosine transform. If a function f of x is defined in the interval minus infinity to infinity, and it is an even function of x, then from the expression of Fourier cosine transform. Cosine integral here we can write the formula f c lambda c f c lambda so fix c is for cosine transform it is the formula for cosine transform is equal to integration for zero to infinity f of u cos lambda u d u then f of x is equal to two upon pi into integration for zero to infinity f c lambda into cos lambda x d lambda this is inverse Fourier cosine transform. Here, f c lambda gives the Fourier cosine transform of f of x, and f of x gives the inverse Fourier cosine transform of f of x. So these are the uh, results for cosine transform and inverse 
Fourier cosine transform and inverse Fourier cosine transform. Okay. Now the examples on Fourier transform. Here we uh, discuss three results. First one is for general function, which is neither even nor odd. For that function, ha, the formula to find the inverse to, for the formula to find the Fourier transform is here f of lambda is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity f of u p e raised to minus i lambda u du. This is the formula to find the Fourier transform when function is neither even nor odd. Then the formula to find the inverse Fourier transform when it is neither even nor odd. It is f of x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration or minus infinity to infinity f of lambda into e raised to i lambda x d lambda. Okay. The next is Fourier sine transform. When function is odd function, then the Fourier transform is called Fourier sine transform. In notation is f s lambda f suffix s lambda. And the formula is integration over zero to infinity f of u sine lambda u du. And in inverse Fourier sine transform, its formula is f of x is equal to two upon pi into integration over zero to infinity f s lambda into sine lambda x d lambda. Okay, and next. Fourier cosine transform, its formula is Fc lambda f suffix Cc for cosine transform. Uh, it is equal to Fc lambda is equal to integration of zero to infinity f of u cos lambda u du. And then the inverse Fourier cosine transform, its formula is f of x is equal to 2 upon pi into integration of zero to infinity Fc lambda into cos lambda x d lambda. Okay. So there are three, uh, sorry. Three concepts Fourier transform, Fourier cosine transform, Fourier sine transform, and the, their inverses. So there are six total six results. And now the examples based on this, these six, six uh, results. The first example is here find Fourier cosine transform of f of x is equal to function is defined into intervals is equal to cos x when x is in between 0 to a. And if the function value is zero when x is greater than or equal to a. Now we are going to find the cosine transform. Here directly the heading is find Fourier cosine transform. So no need to check whether it is even or not. We just find the Fourier cosine transform. Now the uh, formula for Fourier cosine transform is f c lambda f suffix c lambda is equal to integration over zero to infinity f of u cos lambda u du. Now, what is the function here f of u? Here function is uh, in the form of x, means variable is x in the given example. You just replace that x by u, then you will get f of u. It is f of u is equal to defined into intervals. Function is defined into intervals so cos u when u lies between 0 to a. So you split the integration over 0 to infinity because a is the point of discontinuity. So 0 to a and a to infinity. So f c lambda is equal to f of u, f of u here is cos u, cos u in uh, cos x, you replace that x by u, so that you will get cos u. So your function f of u is cos u when it limits from 0 to a, cos u into cos lambda u. Now multiply and divide the term by 2. Here uh, we are multiplying by 2, so divide it by 2 also, so that you will get your original function. Plus, integration for a to infinity when limits are a to infinity the function value is zero so the second term is zero now we are multiplying multiplying and dividing the term by two because we are going to use here the formula two cos a cos b see what is the formula for two cos a cos b it is cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b so cos of a uh, minus b is here cos of a minus b, a is here lambda u, b is here u. So lambda minus one into u, u is common plus cos of a plus b means lambda u plus u, u is common, so in bracket lambda plus one. So this is the product formula, two cos a cos b. We are using uh, to split this uh, product cos u into two cos u cos lambda u. So one by two as it is, in the bracket integration over 0 to a, 0 to a, 2 cos a, cos b, 2 cos u, cos lambda u, its value is cos of lambda 1 minus 
लैमडा वन माइनस वन इंटू यू प्लस कॉस ऑफ लैमडा प्लस लैमडा प्लस वन इंटू यू लेट इट कंप्लीट इंटू डी देर आर टू टर्म्स यू सेपरेट बोथ दी टर्म्स एंड देन इंटीग्रेट वन बाय टू एज इट इज वॉट इज द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट फंक्शन द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट फंक्शन इज साइन साइन लैमडा माइनस वन इंटू यू अपॉन लैमडा माइनस वन प्लस अगेन सेकेंड टर्म इज कॉस्ट फंक्शन द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट फंक्शन इज साइन लैमडा प्लस वन इंटू यू अपॉन लैमडा प्लस वन बिकॉज इंटीग्रेशन इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू यू सो वेरिएबल इज यू सो लैमडा इन फर्स्ट इंटीग्रल लैमडा माइनस वन इज अ कॉन्स्टंट टर्म एंड इन सेकेंड लैमडा प्लस वन इज अ कॉन्स्टंट टर्म सो यू राइट बिकॉज क्वेश्चन इन डिनोमिनेटर वाइल इंटीग्रेटिंग एंड द लिमिट्स आर जीरो टू ए सो एफ सी लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू इन टू नाउ पुट अपर लिमिट ए Now variable is u because integration uh, differential is here du, so integration is with respect to u. So you replace the variable u by upper limit a. So sine lambda minus one into u, you replace that u by upper limit a. Sine lambda minus one into a upon lambda minus one plus sine of lambda plus one into a upon lambda plus one. Lower limit is zero, so put u is equal to zero. Sine zero is zero plus. Uh, Sorry, no, lower limit is zero, so u negative sign for lower limit minus sign zero is zero. Again, second term negative sign minus sign zero zero. So when we put lower limit zero, we are getting both the terms zero. So your answer is here. Fourier cosine transform is one by two inside the bracket sign of lambda minus one bracket complete into a upon lambda minus one plus sign of lambda plus one into a upon lambda plus one. So this is your answer. Now the example number two. Find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of the function f of x, which is defined in three intervals. It is equal to x function is x when x is in between zero to one. The function is two minus x when x is in between one to two, and the value of function is zero when x is greater than two. So there are two points of the discontinuity one and two. Now we are going to find. For sine and cosine transform for the function, we are going to find both the transforms. So first, Fourier sine transform, and the formula is f s lambda such as s for sine transform which is equal to integration of zero to infinity f of u sine lambda u d u. Now the function is defined in three three interval intervals, and one and two these are the points of uh, discontinuity. So you split the integration from zero to one. Then one to two, and then from two to infinity. Now from zero to one, the function f of u. Now we want the function f of u because inside the integral the variable is u, and the given function is in the form of x. In, in here the uh, variable is x in the given example. So we just replace that x by u so that we will get f of u. When if we are replacing here x by u, then the function f of u is equal to u two minus u and zero. Two f of u is equal to u when uh, u is in between zero to one. So zero to one, the function f of u is u, which is sine lambda u dy plus from one to two. From one to two, the limits are one to two. Function is two minus u. So replace f of u is equal to two minus u into sine lambda u dy plus the third uh, integration from zero sorry from two to infinity. So the function is zero. So the third term is zero here. Now we solve these two terms. Integrate the first two integration. The first lambda is equal to integration mu sine lambda u dy. Now to solve this integration mu into sine lambda u, you use here u into v rule. Now you know uh, u into v rule. We choose u the function u at which the derivative vanish earlier as compared to us. Here derivative of u vanishes earlier as compared to sine function. So you choose u as u and sine lambda u as u. So first term u as u. Sine lambda u its integration is minus cos lambda u upon lambda. Because integration is with respect to u, so we will be doing here lambda is constant. So it is first term u as u inside the bracket. The integration of sine function is minus cos lambda u upon lambda. Minus now derivative of u with respect Is one, so I think that is one. In other bracket, the integration of u minus cos lambda u upon lambda. Integration of minus cos lambda u upon lambda u minus sin lambda u. Integration of cos function is sin function. Sin lambda u upon lambda. Already lambda is 
Yes, so I'm right to them, not camera school. And this is our zero to one way. So this is zero to one. Plus, second integration is from one to two. And again, so here we need to zero to position zero to two minus two to sign number eight. We need to move your unit here to minus two because it's very good. Then it's just earlier as compared to the derivative of sine function. So 2 minus 2 as it is, integration of sine function is minus cos lambda u upon lambda minus on the derivative of 2 minus 2 is equal to 3 is minus 1. So I can write it minus 2 into integration of cos function minus cos lambda u upon lambda minus sin as it is. Integration of cos function is sine lambda u upon lambda. Already lambda is there, so lambda into lambda is lambda square. So next term zero, right? So this is one. Next term zero here I'm calling first term from this term. Because u is uh, u is derivative is one and in next term the derivative of one will be zero. So no need to write the next term. Similarly, here in second term also minus one, derivative of two minus u is minus one, and the derivative of minus one is zero so no need to write the next term and for second term the limits are one to two now put the limit for first and second term in first term upper limit is one and variable is u so you replace u by one so u is equal to one so u is equal to one minus cos lambda upon lambda minus minus plus sine lambda upon lambda square Lower limit is zero, so put u is equal to zero. If we put u is equal to zero, first term zero. Minus minus a plus, but again minus sign for lower limit, so zero minus sign is there. Sign uh, zero is zero, so the second term is zero. Okay. Now the second uh, term is here. Limits are one to two. Upper limit is two. Put u is equal to two. So 2 minus 2 is 0. So this first term is 0. Minus minus plus. Again minus sign for sign function. So here minus sign is there. Now u is 2. So sign 2 lambda upon lambda square. This is the term here. After putting upper limit 2 here in this second term. And then lower limit is 1. Hmm. For lower limit is you need to sign to every term now. Minus of. Now uh, u is 1. So 2 minus of u uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so this minus sign minus minus plus so this sign is here plus minus sign of lower limit and minus sign of this first function so minus minus plus 2 minus 1 is 1 cos lambda upon lambda because we are putting lower limit 1 u is equal to 1 okay so the term is cos lambda upon lambda next term minus minus plus Minus sign is for sign function and minus sign of lower limit. Minus sign is again plus and lambda is equal to, sorry, u is equal to 1 because u is very well. So the term is sign lambda upon lambda square. So after putting limit, we have this term. Now simplify it. Minus plus lambda upon lambda plus plus lambda upon lambda get cancelled. Then sign lambda upon lambda square plus sign lambda upon lambda square is. 2 times sine lambda upon lambda square minus sine 2 lambda upon lambda square. So this is HS lambda means real sine transform. Now we know that sine 2 lambda, 2 sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta using the same formula in place of theta that is lambda. So the formula is sine 2 lambda is 2 sine lambda into cos lambda. So put here sine 2 lambda is equal to 2 sine lambda cos lambda. So put here this value here. Then the denominator is 10, so we can do the addition of numerator, subtraction of numerator. So SS lambda is equal to 2, two sine lambda common in bracket 1 minus cos lambda upon lambda square. So this is the, your answer that Fourier sine transform is here. Now in this example, we have to find out both the transform, sine transform as well as cosine transform. Now this is Fourier sine transform. And the uh, cosine transform, you can find the Fourier cosine transform. You know the formula epsilon lambda is equal to integration of 0 to infinity f of u cos lambda is du. Now, here f of u uh, is the function is defined in three intervals 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and then 2 to infinity. 
from 0 to 1, the function f of u is u here. Actually, the given function is defined in, defined and the variable u uh, is x there. But you just replace that x by u, then you will get f of u. From 0 to 1, the function is u into this first function as it is, cos lambda u du plus. Now, from limit 1 to 2, in the interval 1 to 2, the function defined uh, is 2 minus u. And the first function as it is cos lambda u du plus from integration from 2 to infinity, the function is 0. So, third term is absent here. There are only two integrations 0 to 1 and 1 to 2, like the uh, time transform. And we just solve the integration like the uh, time transform. Here we have done the same steps here. So solve the integration to find the Fourier sign transform. Similarly, you solve the two integration terms. See, uh, use your u into v rule. Again, you, you first integration you use u and uh, v is cos lambda u. So you as it is integration by part rule. We have discussed this rule in first unit early already. So you know the general formula to find the integration when there is product of two functions, general u v rule. So I discuss it previous this unit number one. So you know the formula u into v. Here the u the function whose derivative and is earlier as compared to other that function is u. Here the function u is uh, u variable. So u is equal to u v means integration of uh, v, v function is cos lambda u. Integration of V means integration of cost function is sin lambda u upon lambda because variable is u. Lambda is constant. So integration of cost lambda u is sin lambda u upon lambda minus. Now derivative of u is 1. So write here 1. Integration of sin lambda u upon lambda u minus cost lambda u upon lambda. Already lambda is there. So lambda into lambda, lambda square. So this is the integration of first term. Limit 0 to 1. Similarly, the integration of Second term here u here u into v rule u is here 2 minus u and v is cos lambda u so integration of cos function is sin lambda u upon lambda minus now the derivative of 2 minus u is minus 1 so right here minus 1 integration of sin function sin lambda u is minus cos lambda u upon lambda already lambda is there in denominator so lambda into lambda lambda square and limits 1 to 2 now put the limits like the previous one and then we will get this answer 2 cos lambda upon lambda square minus cos 2 lambda lambda square minus 1 upon lambda square. You simplify denominator is same. So directly we can add the terms. So 2 cos lambda minus cos 2 lambda minus 1 upon lambda square. So this is your answer Fourier Fourier cosine transform. Here the notation is there is one correction. You have need this connection here. This is this is correction here. Okay. Mm -hmm. The notation is not suffix is not a the suffix is C. Fc lambda is equal to two cos lambda minus cos two lambda minus one upon lambda square because for cosine transform so we use the notation of C lambda of C F suffix C into lambda. Okay. This, this is one correction here. And here the concept Fourier transform. And the example based on Fourier transform, that first part is over here. Thank you.